before I start this video, don't get surprised if you hear Bob's Burgers randomly happen in the background. Uh, it's on my TV right now, so if I actually click play, it's going to go off. But anyways, let's just say I'm going to be talking about some Fallout today. We're going to talk about my two favorite games in the series, 4 and New Vegas. Alright, so first, I'm going to talk about some New Vegas theories I have. So the first one I have is that if the game, if you didn't be influenced in the game, like if Benny just shot you and you died, my theory is that the Caesar's Legion, or the Caesar's Legion would probably win in my opinion. I mean, they don't, they don't, they're, they're not very advanced, but they have warriors, which are literally made to be warriors. They, they're... They're like, their leader actually cares, because it says in one of the ending slides that, uh, your face gets minted onto the coin, even if you're, like, uh, both gender characters, which is really insane. And, um, also, like, the Caesar's Legion has, like, manpower that's trained. They can send in normal civilians, they can send in warriors, send in slaves, they can send in a Praetorian Guard, they can send in anybody. Next of all, here's my second theory on Fallout New Vegas. New Vegas, in my opinion, is not the most destroyed, is not the least destroyed place on Earth. I think that has to go with, I, I would go with somewhere in Africa or Europe. Actually, not Europe, but uh, Africa or South America being the least destroyed. Because if you think about it, Africa and South America, they aren't, they don't really have any reason to be, like, nuked. Like, in real life and in the games. So why would they nuke South America or Africa? So I think those places are the least damaged from the nuclear war. And New Vegas is the runner-up. Alright. Also, maybe Australia. But Australia is a U.S. ally, so... Alright, let's get on to the Fallout 4 theories. I also have two for this one. Yeah, this is going to be a short video, though. So, um, my first Fallout 4 theory is that the protagonist is a synth. So basically, no human has never been proven that a human could survive getting frozen and then getting reanimated. Because all the water in every single cell would freeze. Water turns into crystal when frozen. Which would damage the cells, completely destroying every cell in the body. Making you die when you got frozen, not being able to be woken back up. So that's that's one, that's my first theory. So they would basically be a synth, because the original character is actually dead. But my question is, how would Sean not be dead then? That's the only problem with that theory. My next theory... Is that the thing could just all be like a, uh, it could just be a dream when the sole survivor is under ice. Because if you think about it, how would McCready still be there? We don't know. How would Deacon know about some of the stuff all across the wasteland? We know he's lying, but still. Uh, how would, how would you just randomly happen to come across Nick Valentine and then, like, right next to it, Swan's there. Wouldn't he have been destroyed by Swan? There's another thing. So, I think it could just all be a dream while the character's still under ice. So, there are my four Fallout theories of my two favorite games. Uh, I guess like the video.